In this video, you will learn everything about Zettel by PayPal. Zettel by PayPal is a service that allows you to accept card payments wherever you are using smartphone or tablet chip card readers and your own app. The Zettel integration gives you the opportunity to offer your products in a separate sales channel, which means you can offer your products locally in a shop, for example. Zettel is not an extension in itself, and it comes with a PayPal extension. So you don't have to install Zettel separately. To synchronize your products with Zettel, you need a new sales channel. If you click on the plus button, you can also use Zettel as a sales channel now. The first step is to establish a connection to an existing Zettel account. If you don't have an account, you can create one here. But if you already have a Zettel account, you can link um, the account to Shopware in this field. This requires an API key um, from the Zettel administration. Once you have the key, paste it into this field and click on Next. In the customization, you first define a name for the sales channel in your shopware environment and the language. Then you enter your shop domain. This will be used by Zettel to download media data for the synchronized products. Then you click on Next. In the step product selection, uh, you enter the sales channel from which you want to uh, transfer the products to the Zettel sales channel. In the product synchronization, you specify what to do with the products that were previously in your Zettel library. So you've got the opportunity to choose if you want to use only shopware products, where only your shopware products and stock quantities will exist in your library. You can replace your Zettel library and you can add shopware products. So your shopware products and stock quantities will be added to your existing library. We will do this and click on next. Now we have the price synchronization. Um, here you specify how you synchronize the prices of your products. On one hand, you've got the opportunity to synchronize with VAT. With this option, the gross prices are transferred to Zettel. And on the other hand, you can choose um, don't synchronize prices. Uh, with this option, prices are not transferred to Zettel. Uh, but after the synchronization, you can adjust the prices at any time. So we leave it by that and click on Next. So we have completed the configuration. So just click on finish now. Now we have the overview of your Zettel sales channel. You can see that your account is successfully connected to your Shopware shop. And you can see all the details from your last synchronization. You've got the option to synchronize products now. So you just click on this button here. But you've also got the option to synchronize products details only or upload images or synchronize your inventory. If you click on manage account in your Zettel accounts here, you can also check by yourself if your products were synchronized successfully to your Zettel account in your Zettel back office. So let's have a look at the last four tabs we've got left here. We've got the synchronized products with an overview of all your synchronized products. We've got the details here like name, status and date. And you can click on there for detailed product details. Then we've got the settings. Within the settings, you can change everything what you set up in the setup wizard um, at the beginning. So you find your general settings here again, like your 
sales channel name, your shop domain and your language settings. Um, here you can also change your synchronization, your price synchronization settings. You find your credentials here, like your API key, and you've got the options to reset your synchronization or delete your sales channel. And last but not least, we've got the logs. In the log, you can see all the past synchronizations with uh, the status and the date. Uh, if the status was not successful, uh, you can use the context menu to read the exact error message.